Hey, do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates. Here I'll show you 3D house modeling in AutoCAD. So in previous video I have created this much and today I'll create 3D flat roof carpet wall with bidding. So let's start. So I created this building with building height 10 feet and 6 inch and now I'll create the roof slab. So first go to layer and create a new layer as roof slab. So go to layer properties first. Create a new layer as roof slab. Also change the color. And make roof slab layer as current layer. So first, you should make sure that the UCS is aligned with the top face. So go to UCS, Comba Control tab and align the UCS with the top face. Also, make your view to SW isometric view. So I'll create roof slab by using polyline command. So go to visual style and click on 2D wireframe. Okay. Now give polyline command PL enter spacebar first point here and draw the boundary. Click here. Click next point here. Click here and close it. Here. All right. Now I'll create the roof slab projection. But if you don't want to give roof slab projection, then you can create your roof slab here only. But I'll create roof slab projection here that is 6 inch. So give offset command O enter. Give offset distance 6 inch. Select and click on outer direction. Okay. Now make the roof slab thickness that is 4 inch. So give extrude command. EXT. EXT is the circuit key of extrude command. EXT enter. Select this profile and give the direction upward. And give the thickness as 4 inch. Enter. So this is the roof slab created. Now go to visual style. And click on set it. So you can see the roof slab. Okay. Now go to visual style. And go back to 2D wireframe again. Alright. Now create a new layer as parpet wall. Layer. Now create a new layer as parpet wall. I'll keep the color same as roof slab. And make parpet wall layer as current layer. Okay. Next. Select. This line, this is the first line created for making roof slab. So change its layer to parpet wall. So select, go to layer and change its layer to parpet wall. Okay. Now move this line in upper direction to the top plane of the roof slab. So give command move. Select specify base point here. Give direction make ortho on. Give direction upward and give the height 4 inch. Enter. Okay. Now I will give the thickness of parpet wall. So thickness of parpet wall is 4 inch. So give offset. Give offset command. O enter. Give offset distance 4 inch. 
select this line and click inside. Now I will create parpet wall by press pull command. So give press pull command, select press pull. Now click on one side a middle person. Now make the direction upward and give the height 2 feet and 6 inch. You may also give the height of parapet as 3 feet but here I am taking 2 feet and 6 inch. Enter. So now go to visual style. and click on set it. Now you can see the parpet wall on the top of the roof. This is the parpet wall on the top of the roof. Okay. Now I will create a bidding which is running around the parpet wall. So go back to 2D wireframe. So for making bidding I need to align the uses with the front face. So go to UCS combo control tab and select front. Okay. Now take a polyline command. PL enter. Specify first point here. Now make the direction towards left. This and give the distance 6 inch enter. Now make the direction downward. And give the distance 1.5 inch. Now make the direction inner side. And give the distance 1.5 inch. Enter. Again check polyline. Swiss pair. First point here. Give the direction downward. And give the distance 6 inch. Again make the direction towards left and give the distance 1.5 inch. Now make the direction towards sorry upward and give the distance 1.5 inch. Enter. Now switch over to arc. So right click click on arc. Again right click and select second point and specify second point here and click here as end point. Enter. So this is not a single profile. So I will make this single profile by join command. So give join command j enter select this select this enter. So it is converted to a single profile. So now I need to draw a polyline here. So align the uses to top face. Okay. Now take a polyline command. PL enter. Specify first point here. And draw around the parapet wall. And close it here. Okay. Now select this and select this and move this to empty space. Select both and move this to empty space. Now move select this and move this to right side. Okay. Now I will rotate this by 3D rotate. So 3R. 3R is the circuit key of 3D rotate. Enter. Select. Space bar. Base point here. Now click on X axis. And click on base point again. Make ortho on. And click on this side. Okay. 
Now select this and move this to this line. Select and click here. Okay. Now give break command. Br enter. Select first point here and second point here. Okay. Now this line is broken. Now move this to this point. So select. Move this to here. Now this row file is not a single entity. So draw a polyline to make this line is a single profile. So PL enter. Specify first point here. Click here. Click here. Click here. Click here and close it by clicking here. Okay. Now select this and this and move this to here. Okay. Now I'll extrude this ext. Enter. Select this. Now I'll give path. So for path specify P enter. Now select this line. Okay. Now it's extruded. Now I'll extrude this face. So go to modify. Go to solid rating and click on extrude faces. Okay. So select here. Enter. Now we need to join this point with this. So enter. Click here. First point and click second point. Here enter. So this is the bidding created. Now I'll move this to the parapet wall. So give move command. M enter. Select Sespa Best point here and move to this point. Click here. Okay. Now go to visual style. This is the bidding created. Go to visual style and click on set it. Okay. Now you can see the bidding created over the parapet wall. So you can see from all side view by 3D orbiting. 3DO enter. You can see all side view here. So this is the roof slab and parapet wall and beating. So you can see all side views here. So this is the puppet wall with beating created over the roof slab. Now if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for new updates. Thank you for watching.